Hey everyone, uh, things improved this month for sure. Um, I have a, my own room and an apartment and we're putting together a post-production team for dropouts. I moved into a place in Whittier, California. It feels a little weird moving back to an area where I went to school, you know, Whittier College, um, but at the same time, I'm living with people that I know, that I trust, you know, um, we've been friends for, for years at this point. Um, I had to have, have met them maybe somewhere between like five and seven years ago at this point. So, um, you know, you can't beat that. Um, and the price it was way cheaper than um, trying to find something west of downtown LA. You know, the more research I did, the more I realized that that wasn't possible. Um, not right now, anyway. It also helps that they've been living here for over three years at this point. So this is a place that I had been to before multiple times. I spent nights crashing on the couch here. I'd been to uh, like friend reunion parties here. Um, so it was already familiar to me, which helped. Maybe this is how some people feel going back home, um, you know, returning to a, a city that you've lived in for years and um, reconnecting with people you hadn't seen in a while. Um, yeah, maybe this is my, my version of returning home. Of course, the original plan was finding something closer to Gloveworks, um, but you know, I wasn't able to do that, so uh, my commute is quite a bit worse than it was before. Uh, a lot of money's going into gas, uh, just hoping the car holds up. Um, but hopefully this isn't too long. Um, you know, maybe I, I do this commute for a couple months and then uh, find something closer after that. We'll see. Combi and I had a lot of meetings this month trying to find the right people to uh, edit dropouts, making sure that we get the right fit for that. Um, we've met some amazing people though. I really think that we've met some people that are, you know, way better than, than us. <laughs> people that are about at our level, a couple people maybe a little below. So we'll just see who's, who's gonna be best for it. I mean, it would be great if we could get someone who's, you know, a, above and beyond where we are in our careers, but, you know, financially and their interest in the project, um, I don't see that happening necessarily, um, but, you know, fingers crossed. The Butcher also has some fantastic news coming up, but I'll save that for November's recap because a lot more of it happened in November. I did manage to get out and do some, some good things this month. Uh, Halloween is my favorite holiday of the year. Um, Halloween is my favorite month of the year as well because it takes place for the whole month, obviously. I was able to go to Not Scary Farm with a couple of friends. I was able to go to a friend's Halloween party. Um, and one Halloween party that I've been going to every year for the past five years. It was great to see familiar faces and people I didn't really see the rest of the year. Um, so that was great too. It did kind of give me the odd realization that I miss people that I've never really spoken to. I didn't realize that was a thing, but there were a couple people. I recognized their faces. I may, may or may not have even known their names, but I realized that that was something I missed. Seeing faces of people that are familiar, even if I don't speak to them. I'm not sure if that's a stroke thing or something that lots of people experience, but I found myself wanting to go over and talk to people I'd never spoken to because they were familiar and it almost felt like friends, but I'd never, you know, really been friends with We'd, you know, maybe spoken three or four times. So that's something new that I learned. Uh, Got to kind of figure out what that is. I'm not sure if other people experience that, but, um, but I definitely do. Maybe it has something to do with um, the fact that, at least for me, um, post-stroke, it's harder to center myself in any particular time. A memory from five years ago might feel just as relevant as a memory from yesterday. Things like that. I also decided that uh, maybe it's time I'd try dating again. It's been about two years since my last relationship, so I decided, you know, it's been enough time. Um, I'm over previous relationships, previous people, and am ready to start meeting new people. I'm not super excited about the idea of meeting strangers for the first time and hoping we get along. Um, but I'm hopeful that I can meet some amazing people and maybe we'll connect. I'm definitely going to be slow to go official with anyone because I really want to make sure this is the right person, the right fit, and not just, hey, someone's interested in me, let's see how this goes, you know. Um, I don't want to end up wasting my time or anyone else's, so. Anyway, those are uh, some new updates and my thoughts on things this month as I slowly get moved into this new room. Um, so yeah, November 1 coming pretty soon.